Comes from Lola and Inku. My grandparents again. <laughs> they would like to know a series of questions, so I'm going to read them all together, and then you can, both you and Dr. Josh, can try to answer them. And it goes like this: What is a virus? Are there different types of viruses? Yeah. What is a coronavirus, and how is it different from other viruses? Um, do you know the flu is. Bigger and the, the corona is smaller. So there's different types of viruses. The question, what is a virus? I mean, you, you did a good job of explaining what the coronavirus is and the genome that's made of RNA. RNA, yeah. So uh, there are different kinds of viruses, like you said. There's corona. What are the other kinds that you know about? Flu. HIV. Yeah, so there are several different kinds. What's different about coronavirus? So, so the 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 reason it's called coronavirus is when they're able to get pictures of it on the microscope, it looks like it has a crown around it because of all of the spikes that you drew. The spikes around it look like a crown, and the the no, another word for crown is corona. That's why it's called coronavirus. So, Auntie Sarah would like to know. Where did the virus come from? And Naomi has a two-part question. First part is, what part of the bat carries coronavirus? And the second part of her question is, did the lady who ate the bat soup cause the virus? And did she go to jail? Those are some deep questions. So where did it come from? So the bat soup. <laughs> Actually, the answer to that is no, and we will talk about why it did not come from the bat soup.、Um, we are not sure. It probably came from a bat. Is the most likely thing. Think、um, there is a possibility, though, that it came from what、uh, what's called a pangolin. I have a picture of one I found on the internet. If you could、Ooh. zoom in on that,、Ooh. Mama. I had never I'd never heard of a pangolin. Until I started to read about where cor this coronavirus came from, it is a scaly ant eater. Look at that! Isn't that crazy? Because there are coronaviruses that are really similar to this one that they found in those ant eaters and in bats, but we pro it probably came from bats. Now,、um, Naomi, what part of the bat carries coronavirus? That is such a good question. We do not actually know the answer to that. Scientists are still working on that question. And kids doesn't get very sick. We wonder why. That's going to be a question that's coming up that your sister asked, Maya.、Um, but where in the bat carries the coronavirus? They're able to. They've been able to do swabs of the throat, like when they're looking for strep throat, and they've also looked in the bat poo, and they can get the virus. They can grow the virus from that. But where in the bat the virus lives, nobody actually knows. We still have to work on that question. That's a good one. Some of you may have seen this video of the woman eating the bat soup, the bat in the soup. That is not where this coronavirus came from, and we know that for sure because that video is four years old. And this vid and this、uh, virus, this coronavirus, didn't show up until around November or December of 2019. So. The the lady who ate the bat is not where the virus came from. A lot of people got very angry at her and said, "This is why the coronavirus showed up because of people eating the bats in the soup." But she's not the one who did it. And in fact,、um, she sent out an apology letter saying, "I never thought that there would be a virus in the bat. I'm really sorry about this." And so, but it wasn't her that did it. Did the lady go? Jail? No, the lady did not go to jail for eating the、Our、bat. Next question comes from Isaiah. Why does the virus affect people? Why, why can we get the virus? It's actually because of what you drew here. Why don't you draw a couple more of these receptors? Because the virus has these spikes on its surface. You can stand right there. Yeah. The virus has these spikes on its surface. And these spikes fit into these receptors that are on our human cells, on our epithelial cells, like Ashara said, like like a lock and a key. Like a so, lock and a key, like our door. Well, 
They're exactly. So these spikes are like a key, and unfortunately, we have these locks that the virus can open and get into our epithelial cells, and that's why the virus can infect humans. Like us. Like us.